Hello YouTube. I thought I'd do a quick video here. I'm still getting things set up after my computer crashed. Matter of fact, I was making this video when the when my computer crashed. Um, so we're still getting things set up. But uh, but at any rate, I want to do a shout out and a big thank you to uh, Scott, Thomas, Pete, and Mike. I really appreciate you guys sending me this network radio. And I will explain what that is here in a minute. Uh, but I really appreciate you guys doing that. Um, what I'm going to be doing here is we're going to do a video series on network radio, which is uh, about the Raspberry Pi. Uh, this black box down here is the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, if I remember correctly. Uh, and a Raspberry Pi is like a little computer. Okay, you can plug in a HDMI cable like I have now, and you can plug in and the USB ports in the back. You can plug in a mouse and a uh, keyboard. Okay, and you can have this connect. This Raspberry Pi can connect to a network. In this case, I have it set for Dane Octane Network, and I will post a link to that down below. Now, this particular Raspberry Pi is, is a real good model because it has both the CAD5 in back and the Wi-Fi capabilities, which is nice because if I want to plug this into my network directly, I can do that for a better connection. Or if I want to use Wi-Fi, I can do that option. And one nice thing about the Wi-Fi is if I want to make this little unit mobile, I can take a phone turn or a phone or a tablet or whatever has data on it, turn on the hotspot and connect to it through Wi-Fi to be able to make this whole thing portable. So uh, that's what's kind of neat about having a Raspberry Pi that has both. I think some of the Raspberry Pis don't have the CAD5 connector, if I remember correctly. Uh, but it's best to get one that has both to help with a lot of things. Um, but what I have here is this silver box on top is what I call a UA, UHF module. This little silver box is like a, it's like a radio. This silver box transmits on the GMRS frequency that I program with my tones uh, so I can use a handheld to talk through the network or on the network and it can this handle can also receive uh, through all the network trafficking. Now I'll, sh I'll show you the website here in a minute. Um, that's what's kind of nice about having that this little silver box. Now what another nice feature is this can do time and weather announcements over the radio, not over the network. Only you would hear it. So it will do, and I don't know how far away. I'll turn the volume up. Maybe you'll hear it here shortly. Do the time and weather announcements. But that just plays through the airwaves, not on the network. So which is really neat. So uh, that's one of the neat features about this. The nice feature about when you get this thing all set up, you don't need to leave the keyboard or the mouse or even the HDMI uh, monitor uh, hookup. You can unhook all that and just have the little box itself. That's what's kind of nice about that. Um, you know, you don't need it hooked up. Now, the Raspberry Pi is like a Linux uh, type of uh, uh, system. So it's a little different than Windows. But like I say, I'll do a video series. We're going to get into detail. We're going to... We're going to do all kinds of stuff with this Raspberry Pi. So don't worry. We'll, we'll have very good de uh, detailed videos in the weeks to come. One of the things I want to do is take my DB9 connector, since you know obviously this is USB, plug this in, and then we can hook this up to any repeater, and we don't need the RF module. I could hook this up to a, a repeater, for instance, like the RT97S, or the Midland MXR10 repeater. So we can uh, have this network 
hooked up to a repeater system and played over the uh, airwaves uh, connecting to other users all over the world. Now you're probably asking yourself, what's the difference between a network radio and Zello? Well, one of the things here is I'm going to show you is when, and I'll post a link to Dane Octane's website here. Um, one of the things that uh, that's kind of nice uh, about this uh, the the network uh, setup is if you go to the web page. And I'm going to click on this here. If you go to the web page, you can see what groups are available that you can connect to. Now, you got to get a node number from Dane to be able to connect to this. But there's a page, an actual web page, that you can see the groups. You can see the names. Uh, you know, uh, you know who's all on there, who's connecting. Um, it's really neat. So you can um, you can talk to anyone in, in any of these groups or another term they use is a node number so that's one advantage uh, Zello to my knowledge you cannot scroll through uh, the groups to uh, you know find them you, you have to know the group name now Zello has its advantages too don't get me wrong you know one of the advantages you can make your group private with a password so not everybody can join I don't think you can do that on the network radio I don't believe um, but at any rate, so that's what's kind of nice about having the network radio. Now, I'm going to show you here. I'm going to uh, show you kind of the setup. I'm not going to go into detail uh, with this because that's, like I said, we're going to do a video series. So we'll show you a little bit more uh, when the time comes. But this is what the screen looks like when I'm hooked up to the Raspberry Pi. And as you can see, there's a lot of different settings we can do here. You know, we can select whether it's Wi-Fi or whether it's CAD5 hookup, if your uh, Raspberry Pi does have the CAD5, obviously. Um, but there's a lot of other configurations you can do with this Raspberry Pi. Like I said, it's a little computer, so it's, it's really neat. Now, I want to show you something here. And I, I'm going to move this. I was hoping to kind of do the weather announcements here. Um, but maybe it'll, it'll do it. Uh, I'll just leave it on. I'm going to unhook the uh, HDMI cable because we don't need that. I just showed you what um, the screen kind of looks like. Now, like I said, I have the module on here. Uh, this is what it looks like. There's an HDMI there. You hook up to your monitor. This particular Raspberry Pi has got four... Uh, USB connectors in back so you can hook up like I said a keyboard and a mouse or you can plug it into a CAD5 which is really nice here's the front of the module um, right there uh, it's got the uh, you know this is the antenna this is the UHF uh, module is what I call it you can program it for your, uh, your your frequency that you're gonna use your radio on I believe this puts out about one watt I think it's not real powerful but again, we can take a DB9 connector, unhook this module, and plug this in, and then run this to a uh, repeater. So that's what I'm going to be doing some videos on. But that's kind of the, the screen of it there, uh, on that there. So, yeah, I mean, you know, it's really neat. Uh, you know, like I said, it has really, really cool uh, features that we can do. And again, you can do a lot of stuff with this, and we'll touch a lot of bases. One of the networks, like I said, it was Dane Octane. Again, you got to get the node number from him to, to connect. But there's other networks out there uh, that you can choose besides Dane's. Um, but uh, I'm on that one. So, at any rate, there you have it. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. And please subscribe. Thank you, and have a good day.